You can mention it my name, but don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. So to bring it all together in terms of creation and compilation, it's really important to realize that stored procedures never have their plans saved on disk. They do not have a plan created at the time the stored procedure is created. Instead, creation is really just for the parsing and checking of syntax and storing metadata information. Stored procedures plans are objects that are, are transient objects. They exist only in memory and they're not stored in the database unless something called an object plan guide exists. They're not guaranteed to be the same for every execution and, and there are many reasons that they might not get saved, that they might get invalidated, or that you might actually want them to not be saved or reused. And no, it's not always statistics, even though statistics really has a bad reputation here. <laughs> Reusing some plans can be great, right? If the plans are nice and stable and nice and consistent, it can be a great thing to not to have to pay CPU to compile and get a different plan. But reusing some plans could be horribly bad. And, and that has to do with plan stability. And when the plans are not stable and when the plans are inconsistent, especially when it's tied to the parameters supplied, which might wildly vary execution to execution, then reusing a plan that's in cache might be horribly bad. So what we have to, to really just come to grips with is recompilation is not always a bad thing. Don't get me wrong, I don't want you to recompile on every execution, that's not what I'm saying. But I want you to, to take a step back from the concept that you create stored procedures so that you can have a nice plan in cache for reuse and look at all those other reasons to create stored procedures that you have centralized code, you have consistency, you have security, you have the code living on the database server server being used by 15 applications. If the code changes, you don't have to change 15 applications. There's huge benefits to using stored procedures. It's not just about having a single plan. So what we have to do is recognize when that's good, when that's not good, and we have to go through all the options that exist and come up with the most optimal way to create our store procedures. It's actually surprisingly easy once you see all these issues laid out like I'm doing in this course. So next module is recompilation and optimization and figuring out the best way to create the most optimal code.